The wonderfully named pre-First World War artist Rembrandt Bugatti immortalised exotic animals in bronze. Now a major retrospective of his work has opened at the Alte National Gallery in Berlin. I think Bugatti was a very serious artist. He did not portray animals as heroic or them fighting or as status symbols for the upper classes. Rather, he went into this separate world of the zoo because it was a safe place where he felt protected and he used this world with its abundance of shapes and colours and movement with a great seriousness and that makes him very special. In fact, Bugatti never set foot in Africa or Asia. He was born in 1884 in Milan, Italy, into an artistic family. He never had any formal training, but had his first solo exhibition at the age of 16. Like many artists at the time, Bugatti visited the zoological gardens to get inspiration from the large and exotic animals. He would often spend weeks just observing an animal before starting work on a subject. He would put an apple on the other side of the enclosure so the elephants had to twist and stretch to get it. In that way he was able to observe the nimbleness of these huge animals and represent it in the work. The First World War led to a collapse in the art market and the culling of zoo animals for food. It was all too much for the young artist who gassed himself in his studio in 1916 at the age of 31. Thank <laughs> you. 